Hello Minecraft gamers, my name is AppleGuy and welcome back to more Minecraft. Oh my gosh, we're living in the future. I just clapped and now I just did over there and uh, yeah, we have emotes now. It's pretty wild. Uh, so we're here in the new nether update about a week late, uh, whoops. And uh, I'm super excited to hop right into the nether. I know I said today we were going to spend uh, time doing some other things, but mainly things related to um, getting exp to prepare our armor but honestly i think our armor is is okay um i'm really excited to go check out the nether so that's what we are going to be doing um i will be making a actually hold on let me see because i think i need a lot of levels to put everything on the pants i don't think i started the pants yet right no i haven't okay uh we do have enough scoot though to make the helmet you can see all the little baby turtles outside i have a video of me releasing them or maybe it's a picture um i'll go ahead and just uh make sure that's on the screen right now so yeah i'm just gonna put this in here and then make one last set of iron armor i'm taking the sword oh by the way i have a cape now that's pretty cool i think it's the minecon earth cape so yeah i'm going to make just one more set of iron armor and then uh we will be heading into the depths of the nether so good news and bad news about the nether good news is Actually, I'll start with the bad news. That makes more sense. Bad news is I was unable to fully reset the nether to the way that I wanted to. Uh, good news, however, is that it wasn't hard for me to find uh, a place we haven't explored yet. So I have set up what is basically a new portal. It's a little hard to explain. I'll just tell you guys when we get there. Um, we're going to be checking that out today. So yeah, super excited to explore the nether. We're going to leave Rico here, of course. Never taken Rico anywhere. Uh, say bye goodbye to our four baby turtles. Their home beach is here, so maybe they'll come back and uh, visit sometime. I don't know how they work. All right, so basically we need to go into the nether and it's going to look the exact same. And as I said, that's because it was impossible for me to delete the nether dimension. So uh, as you can see, we can walk out here and the fog colors just because it's, it's generating. And then we have this over here, this weird thing. If we step on it, we will get teleported to the new nether. Voila, here we are. And uh, I mean, that's just, that's the best I can do. So I'm going to build just like a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe it's like a, a sign of some kind. I don't know. I just want to make sure I know how to find my way back here if I need to. That's all. And I also want to make sure it's not toxic and deadly and lava and that stuff. So here we go. All right. Boom. Um, Cool. We are in the new nether. I'm super excited. And there's gases already. So I'm gonna mine some of these blocks first off. I think this is the, uh, what is this? This is basalt. All right, so I, as I said, I, I wasn't keeping the best attention of the nether update. I do know the basics. I, I watched um, some people play the nether snapshots, so it's not like I'm, I'm completely fully blind. I know, well, A, I have knowledge of just Minecraft, so you know, maybe that'll help me. Um, I don't have all the features committed to memory, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, you know, my goal is that we will eventually see what is to be seen. And we're also, of course, going to be making work towards that, uh, that wither fight. I don't know if they made the wither easier or harder to, you know, fight here in, in this version of the game. But I do know that, um, oh, I almost hit his, his buddy on accident. That would have been a little bit funny, but not particularly effective. All right, so yeah, I want to gather a bunch of new nether blocks because they're great for building. And, um, you know, we all know I love to build. What is this? this oh, shoot. Jeez, I thought that was because I mined it. That's because of silent gas. Uh, what is this block called? Hey, come on. Yeah. There's. I should have hit that. I was literally spamming. Blue fire! That's cool. I know it's like called soul fire or something. And holy lord, this... Uh, this is, the fire is so large. Is this soul soil? Soul soil, yes. Okay, it sounded like dirt. I figured they wouldn't call it soul dirt. So yeah, I want to mine up all these blocks. This is like the first... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Please go away. Alright, I guess I'll go away instead. Oh, this is bad. Who did this? I'm escaping. Goodbye. I'm out of here. See ya, punks. <laughs> the nether is scary. The nether's very scary. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow, the nether is actually the worst place I've ever been in my life. Everything does damage! Everything does damage! 
Okay, um, nope. Come fight me in my little hidey hole, you weenie. All right. <laughs> it's so hard to fight this. Oh my gosh, hold on. I can I can block with shield. I have shield, duh. Hold on. Do I have shield? Is it even working? Not really, it doesn't really seem like it is. Maybe I'm just bad at defending with it? Okay, I have to be better at aiming. Okay, there we go. Did the shield do anything? It took some damage, I'm gonna assume it did, okay. Um, the nether is very dangerous. But there's new like, oh, look at that. There's the new uh, nether um, gold ore. It's like, mine's golden nuggets, I think. All right, I'm just gonna pick a direction and run for a little bit. We've grabbed a lot of good supplies. Um, and obviously there's a ton more supplies to gather and we will be gathering a bunch. Um, geez, why are you everywhere? You're, you're everywhere. It's ridiculous. There you go. Goodbye. Thank heavens. Okay. So let me build a real staircase so that I can, um, know where I'm going. I guess I should first, like, mine the necessary- please don't. Oh my gosh. I will definitely say they made the nether more dangerous. Like, skeleton spawns, why are there so many? There's- I'm- this is- this is terrible. I don't like this. Oh no, I don't like this one bit. There's so many! Jeez. It's almost like you need a gosh darn a bow to come in here. Okay, they continue to spawn directly in front of my face. There we go, get out of here. I have half a heart. This is no good. Block, thank you. Eliminate- wow. That is bad. The nether is very dangerous now. It's not even that dangerous, there's just like a thousand skeletons. I want to get to see some of the new biomes, because I know there's a big red biome, with like red vines and stuff. Not the candy, like actual vines that are red. And there's a blue biome as well. Um, we already saw the basalt area. And then there's a, a bunch of... whatever they're called. Some, um... Uh, oh, jeez. Bastions. They're called bastions, I think. They're like dungeons, almost. But obviously for the nether, and not for the overworld. Then there's netherite! I don't know if you guys have heard, but netherite is a brand new material, and um, it's better than diamond. You need like four scraps to make one ingot, and then use one ingot to upgrade your diamond stuff. So we're definitely going to be trying to do that. I heard netherite is like hard to find. Like it is literally the rarest thing in the game. So um, yeah. Thank you for dropping so many bows. I wish you also dropped arrows, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. I'm going to rearrange my inventory for all the meaningful things, and it looks like the only meaningful thing left I'm missing is my shovel. Where is my shovel? Well, here's some arrows. There's my shovel. Jeez, that thing flew. Okay. What? You're- this is a tiny, tiny space. Don't shoot me. I'm out. I'm done. I- I- I'm, I'm out. I'm gonna go back to building my staircase. Come on. There you go. So hope- they fire so quickly! Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining about skill. Give me back that axe. All right, let's um mine some of the netherite or nether ore. I think it's called nether gold ore. As you can see, it is affected by fortune, so this might be one of the best ways to get gold now. That's cool. I'm just gonna duck away. I would be great if these stopped spawning, or if they made the actual noise they're supposed to make when they shoot out their gassed fireballs. Because, I mean, uh, I didn't hear a noise. And I know y'all didn't hear a noise, because if I don't hear a noise, there's no way you're hearing a noise. Alright, so I just want to make, like, a, a very clear and distinct, like, this is the way up, you know? I wonder if living in the nether is, like, fully, fully possible now. Because I bet it is, to be honest. They added a lot. There you go. Alright, so I know the way up. Okay, cool. Um, I would like to explore the nether as, like... An, an island as opposed to as a um okay i'm just gonna hit you with the sword stop running why are you running yeah done okay i'm gonna start using the shield more shield run shield there you go and you're gonna hit me again whatever okay i'm gonna get better at using the shield so i think this is like a, a bone block these have been in the game for a while but they, they put them in the nether now you can like get fossils from them and then you can break them down into bone meal or they just look kind of cool okay Grab and go. Grab and go salads. Here we go. Okay. 
You're not even looking at me and you're firing your bow. Yes, I'm complaining. All right, um, gotta make another way down it looks like. No biggie. Building is all part of the plan. Here we go. I'm just trying to make sure I have easy access and way up. But I do want to get down to the nether floor, like right next to the lava sea. Because I feel like that's where it'll be easiest to move around. I, I mean, it's it's the nether, and I've seen a lot of people explore using elytra. And, I mean, obviously I don't have elytra, so I can't explore it like they do. But it would be nice, I guess. I uh, don't really want to fight these skeletons on a downhill, so I think I'm going to try and uh, reroute myself. Give me back my stake. I need that. All right, yeah, I'm going to use some soul soil. I'm going to assume this isn't, like, super rare of a material. There we go. Break myself here out into the open. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Up up and away. There we go. Okay, and there's more skeletons. Why are there so many skeletons? Oh my gosh, it's like a party for things that belong in a graveyard. I'll definitely say the nether is more dangerous. A thousand times. I don't think I've ever died in the nether since I started playing until today. So, props to them for making the nether more dangerous. Um, crossing this lava ocean is going to be really difficult. What are these? I don't have, like, shears or anything, so I'm just going to punch one and see if anything drops. Something did drop. This is a crimson roots, of course. I uh, Hold on. I wonder if you can bone meal crimson roots. I wonder if that's the... Uh, the dealio with them. Nope, I don't think I can do anything with them, to be honest with you. Oh, he dodged. Okay. I feel like I haven't done any exp exploration, but I don't know how, to be honest. Everything that I'm interested in exploring is connect, disconnect, okay. Hey, you wanna stand still for just like a couple of seconds? You're hard to predict. Your patterns are hard to predict. I'm just trying to play some gas baseball. Oh my heaven's sakes. This is the worst game of gas dodgeball I've ever played in my life. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Come on. Got him. And also I have a bow for no reason. Okay. Uh, oh jeez, there's Endermen here now too. Well, the Endermen have been here for a while to be honest, but... So, um, I heard now- oh my gosh, they keep spawning directly in front of me. It's like you're not even trying to hide your inability- okay, there we go. The bow is useful. I think ranged weaponry is definitely necessary to navigate the nether. That's apple tip number one. Bring a ranged weapon. I was going to, but I just don't have any good ones. So let's um, repair this bow, and then we can head off some more. I would like to find at least one new biome, but I understand that they're probably pretty large, and I mean, I don't have elytra. And I think the other way you can get around is, um, they're called, like, the Strider Mobs. Like, yeah, that's one of them right there. You can put a saddle on them and, uh, hook them up to a, uh, hook them up to, I think, a carrot on a stick or something. And you can get them to move on your behalf. They buffed these skeletons, dude. There's no way I'm taking gas out. Okay, I guess I'm not taking gas out with a single hit. E. Aim! This game needs aim assist. Jeez. All right, hold on. I have an idea. I'm going to do my best to ignore because I know the second I engage, that's when it's all over. I do want the gas tears. All right, yeah, let's explore this way. Hopefully, I'll find my way back. If not, I mean, I have a video so I can just like, you know, work backwards. That's all lava. Oh, hey, a new zombie pigman. Hold on. They changed the way these guys look, I think. He's on a strider. He knows the strats. Oh, that means he's saddled. Hmm, but I don't have the thing I need to control him, so I can pass for now, but uh, don't expect uh, me to not use a strider, because that is literally my only way through the lava, is on the back of the strider. That was all my arrows, no, I mean to have to fight another skeleton. Come on, there you go, and oh, that's, that's how you do it, that's the ticket. Okay, I'm gonna head back to where we came from. Maybe try and find another dude I can fight. Okay, I'm just going to take this damage. Eh. Eh. You guys are back to machine gun bows from beta. It's the worst. I mean, they just do not stop firing. I don't even think I finished my sentence, but you can make like soul lanterns and soul torches now that burn blue instead of burning normal fire. 
which is pretty neat. I just saw four skeletons spawn directly in front of me. I don't think the spawning is broken, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone ended up saying, hey, the spawns are weird. Anyone know why? Hey, an enchanted bow, that's cool. I bet it's unbreaking. It was power one. Okay, that's not bad. All right, new biome is really what we're after, as I've said, but hey, more gold is always nice too. And this is a fortune pick, so you know, I'm getting like good drops. Please stop, for all that is holy. I am literally just mining. What are you going to do? Are you, are you defending this skeleton? I mean, this gold skeleton? Is this your gold? Well, it's mine now. More bones, cool. More gas spawning directly in front of me. That was weird. And more lava. Typical nether. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Don't overwhelm me, please. Boom, boom. All righty. So by the way, back that way is um is where I came from. So that's where like the quote unquote original nether is. Is if you were basically just to continue heading that way, that's that's what you would find. Um, hmm. All right. Well, to be honest with you, I like the sound this block makes when I break it. I feel like I'm not ready to make progress. All right, sorry for that cut there, Minecraft gamers. I needed to uh, do something really quickly. Alrighty, so um, I totally lost my train of thought, but I'm going to find it again. Get out of here, gold skeleton. Get off the gold standard, bro. Hope that enderman's not mad at me. I think he is, to be honest with you. Hey, the gas turned into a skeleton. Epic. What else would I expect in this world? Uh, very difficult, the nether is, says Yoda, apparently. All right, everyone has armor. Oh, he dropped actual chain stuff. All right, we kind of have like a really, really good bounty. And um, I now know the dangers of the nether. So I, th oh, holy Lord, that was dangerous. Speaking of the nether being completely dangerous. Um, what's good though, is we are getting EXP and that was kind of what I set out for today's episode to be. I think what I'm gonna do is continue to get EXP in this episode just by mining and like slapping skeletons. Okay, I really got- I put you out. Um, and then in the next episode, I want to come back here with the uh, necessary equipment for getting on top of a strider, and I want to stride across the ocean. Or, er, lava ocean. I think that's what they're called. Um, because I want to make sure I'm able to get out of this basalt area and see some more nether content. What's attacking me? Is the Enderman angry at me? Well, he is now, but... Jeez, I never know what's actually slapping me upside the head. It's a little ridiculous. Oh, hello. Where did you spawn from? Nowhere? Surprise. Also, I'm gonna bring a more powerful bow. I know I said I was gonna go crossbow this uh, series, but I feel like a regular bow would benefit me a lot more in this current scenario. I need to be able to aim quickly and shoot quickly, as opposed to being able to you know, I don't know. What does crossbow do? Shoot multiple at once. Also, ignore that voice crack. You didn't hear that. <laughs> and I was like mid-sentence, so I can't cut that out of the video. So we're all just going to uh, agree to have a ceasefire on making jokes about that voice crack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Oh, man. Just let me be a little bit of a, of a go gold goblin for just a couple of seconds. All right, I'm all gold goblin it out. Boom. 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 Oh, armor cracked. Armor cracked. He's absolute. Absolute, there we go. <laughs> That's all what pro gamers play when they play video games. Okay, I will notice there's a big issue with mobs. Not just the fact that they spawn in front of me, but they also despawn in front of me. And I can't tell you for certain whether or not they're supposed to spawn, but I know for a fact they're not supposed to despawn directly in front of you. So, you know. But yeah, I mean, the nether, besides our section being completely basalt -tid, basalted, I don't actually know what I meant to say there. Full of basalt, I guess. There are other biomes, and I do want to explore them all. I think we're going to spend some episodes in the nether, just doing some exploration. And then, as I said, hopefully that will, um, you know, bring us into our wither fights, which will bring us into the end fight, which will, you know, bring us full circle, and then we can go back to doing more builds and stuff. And then as they add more content to Minecraft based on exploration, we can continue to do that. So yeah, this series, the state of this series is great, especially with updates like this coming out. I mean, this update took 
from like release to uh, re re reveal to release, it took a little while, but it was legitimately worth the wait. And I'm happy I didn't play any snapshots because when you play it all as one final thing, you get that feeling of like, ah, oh, there's so much to do, I'm overwhelmed. As opposed to like, you know, playing each individual snapshot where you're like, okay, well this time they added uh, red rockets. Okay. Oh, now they added uh, pet snakes. And then by the time the full release is out, you're like, none of this is new. What do you mean people are getting excited for this? So those were examples, by the way. Uh, I want to ch I want to keep this Strider in a little uh, area. I want him to be mine so that I can come back later and uh, use his ability to drive the ocean. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to put my faith in that it's still going to be here because I'm going to die <laughs> if I don't leave. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do that. All right, I have a lot of research to do, and I also have a lot of EXP to gain, so maybe... Oh my gosh. Go away! Go away! Go away. Oh, I was clutch, actually. Go away. Yeah, by the way, the Striders turn purple when they're out of the uh, lava. That, that's why, if you ever see a purple one, he's not, like, a different type. Did I mine this? What is this? That is... Blackstone. Oh, that's gonna be so cool to build with. I'm happy we, we just finished a building project because we have so many more materials to consider now for future endeavors. I remember I said I wanted to do like a, a spooky mansion or a spooky uh, um, hotel on top of a hill or something. This could be great, like old dead wood. I love it. All right, um, there's our nether. I am super excited. I've never seen more particles flying around the air, by the way. But yeah. So, and then of course we can just come back here to our original portal. And basically how I want this to work is I'm not going to pay attention to this nether at all. I'm pretty much going to come through this portal and walk straight into that one. So it's like we reset the nether, um, even though it's technically not, you know. So, I mean, it's the best that I could do. And I I'm alright with it. Let's take a quick peek at our hall. Because... We got a lot, and that is good. It looks like our turtles have uh, gone into the lake. Lagoon. Nice. Alrighty. So, hello Rico, hello Sylvia, and hello Odie. I'm back with lots of new stuff. I'm gonna need more chests. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can I make chests? And then can I make a place to put chests? Um, what don't I need? I can throw out one red mushroom for a couple seconds. Okay. Uh, let me make... Uh, yeah, one double chest should be fine. Is that is that one double chest? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I have no clue where I'm going to put this, to be honest with you. Actually, you know what? Maybe I do. Maybe I want to put it right here. Yeah, I can put a chest here and a chest over there. All right. So, this is all just my nether stuff. I'm just going to put anything I've grabbed into this chest. Um, and obviously, we can sort through this later and what not. So I think in between this video and the next one, I'm gonna get to level 30 or whatever, and I'm gonna do some work on all of this stuff. I think this is ready, actually. Let me work on putting this all together. Repair a name. Yep, that's three, that's actually really cheap. And then another three, that's pretty cheap. Can I get diamond pants right now? With protection and breaking and mending? Ah, uh, I'm one level off. Okay, two levels. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm going to take care of that, and then um, hopefully when we get back, I'll have maybe like 40 levels or something. We can put all that together, and we can head back into the nether with everything we need to explore some more. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, please hit like, subscribe, and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time with more Minecraft nether update content. Until then, as always, take care.